Aloha! Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, number systems and we're going to learn how to do uh, some base 2 stuff and we're going to base our, uh, um, we're going to figure out how to do it by uh, figuring out what we really know, how we really know what number this is. So this number, I think everybody knows, this number is 3046. But why is it 3046? And it's something you learn in grade school, but now you're just probably so entrenched in your brain you don't even think about it. Okay, so this is a, this is a number that's in base 10, uh, a number system that us humans use. Okay, and so this you, we'll go we'll go back to your grade school. This is the what you guys would call the ones place. This is the Tens place. This is the last of the cameraman. What's uh, what place is this? Hundred. The hundreds. And this is the thousands place. I think everybody's comfortable with that. Also. Yes. Um. Um. But why is this the ones place? Well, technically, it's the ones place because we're using a base ten system, and so this is the. The ten to the zeroth place. Okay, that's where that, that's where this ultimately comes from. Um, ten to the zero. For now, you can just believe me. We'll show you guys later on in class. Um, anything raised to the zero power is one. This will be ten to the first power. This will be ten to the second power, and this will be ten to the third power. So each time we move up a place, we move up to a higher power of ten. Um, let's let's look off to the side here. So the ten squared, I got enough room. I'll do it right here. I'll write a little small. Ten squared is ten times ten. That's what ten squared means, right? It's kind of the definition of ten squared. So what's ten times ten? Hundred. A hundred. So that's why this is a hundreds place. And this is ten cubed, which is ten times ten times ten, which makes this the thousands place. So that's where these guys come from. And the place right here would be, if we had another place, that would be? 10,000. 10,000, very good. Uh, the cameraman is uh, already awake <laughs> this morning. Okay. So that's, that's why this is 3,046. Maybe we'll write out one more time. So let's, let's look closely. We've got the three, but the three is in the thousands place. So we've got three times 10 to the three, which is 1,000. So I get 3,000. Okay. And we got uh, 0 times 10 to the 2, so we can skip that guy. And in this place, we got 4 times 10 to the 1st, so that's equal to 40. I should write it nicely over here. And we got a 6 times 10 to the 0, which uh, 10 to the 0 is 1. I don't know if I write that nicer. So we get six, you add them all together, you get 3,046. Okay, so that's, uh, you're probably thinking that's too much work. You say, well, I knew it was 3,046 all along, so why did you go through all that? Okay, so um, here's why we went through all that. So in uh, computers, use base two. Um, base two just has two digits. Um, or two symbols, whatever you want to call them. Those two symbols are zero and one. Okay, um, you've probably heard of a, of a byte. A byte is eight bits, which is eight digits worth of base two. So I'm going to write down an arbitrary, typically we write it like this, the computer guys like to go, oops, they like to go four, a little space, and four. It's kind of the easy way to look at. So I'm just going to make up a, a eight bit or one byte uh, base two number. So we'll say zero one zero one 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 zero one. That looks like a fun um, base two number. We, we'll time out for the 